So we're doing bronchoscopy for a patient 79 years old with a right upper lobe uh, lesion. Uh, we're starting with mediastinal staging for all lymph nodes, starting from the left side going to the right side. All, the bron all bronchoscopy start with uh, airway examination first to guarantee there is no, there's no endobronchial lesions. We examine the airways and take baseline pictures for all the airways and clean the airways from mucus too. So the staging of the mediastinum should start from the contralateral side, starting from the lymph nodes in the left hilar, then going toward the right side. Now we are in the left main stem. You can see in front of us there the left upper lobe and the left lower lobe. 11L is located. But, uh, in the carina between these two airways, you go under the carina and you try to find the lymph nodes, which you can identify here. If you have a doubt about it, you can put Doppler. Can you put color for me, please? Press color. And that's confirmed that what you see there is a lymph node. Color off, please. Then you can freeze. And we'll do the measurement now. We go for the short axis measurement. In this case, the lymph node 11L is uh, 6.1. Would you capture, please? We're using 22 gauge needle. The most important part when you set up the needle is to keep your eye on the endobronchial view to guarantee the sheath is coming out of the scope as you see here. And then you lock the sheath at that level. You set up the depth of the penetration usually at 2 centimeter and then you, set, you find your target again. When you see your target, you keep it in the other half, the far fa half of the ultrasound, and you push the needle and see the needle getting inside. Can you hold the scope for me there? With the, with the tube. The needle now inside, the lymph node. You clean with the stylus. Make sure that no endobronchial secretions is in the, t in the needle. We'll do just without suction. We'll pull the stylus halfway and do the sample. The sample should be from edge to edge of the lymph node to guarantee getting maximum amount of tissue. The first sample will go for slide for on-site cytological evaluation. So 11L is the lymph node, again, between the left upper lobe and left lower lobe in that carina. You put your needle, uh, you set up the sheath, and you lock it. You go in the left lower lobe after setting the depth, and you look, you touch the carina wall, and you see now the lymph node 11L at that location. You push the needle, and you see the needle now inside the lymph node. And you do the, can you pull this halfway? Capillary action technique, which is keeping the stylus in, but sampling to guarantee getting sample and sometimes that can help to get sample with less blood on the smear, which is good for on site cytological evaluation. As you see, we do multiple passes edge to edge in the lymph node from both borders. And this to guarantee getting enough sample, about 10 to 20 stabs 
Then you pull the needle back, you lock it, and you unlock it from the scope. You pull up to make straight, and you don't bend it while doing that. Now, first two passes done for on-site cytological evaluation. The other two will be going for cell block, so we'll do it with suction. Now we're performing the pass for cell block. The sheath is good. You identify your lymph node again, and then you push the needle inside it. We'll take this time this whole stylus out, and we'll apply suction to achieve endobronchial ultrasound with transbronchial needle aspiration. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. You asked to hold the scope in case your view is going with your hand motion and the needle is pushing away from the uh, airway. So you achieve better contact between the ultrasound and the airway if somebody hold and stabilize the scope for you at that location. Now we're going to identify the next station for on the left side since the lesion on the right side. And this will be the left paratracheal and it will be 4L location. To be able to identify it, you start from the left main stem. When you see the left upper and the left lower, as you see in the endobronchial lesion, then you touch the wall, and you can see a major blood vessel, which is the pulmonary artery. Pulling back now, sliding up toward the head, you can see now there is a, a lymph node coming in front of us. This lymph node is between the pulmonary artery on the left side of the screen and the aorta which is on the right side of the screen as you see now and the lymph nodes are 4L as you see here you identify the lymph node there and the needle now inside it there it's a tough angle that's why the view of 4L in this situation is not that good the most important to do your sample from edge to edge of the lymph node. Again, this is the 4L location by the ultrasound. You can see the pulmonary artery. Pulling up toward the head, you can see the lymph node. Pulling up, you see the aorta. This is the only lymph node that's located between the two large blood vessels. And that's a very important landmark in the ultrasound to identify this lymph node. We're going to move to another station now. We'll start with the N2 stations that include the station 7, the subcarinal, and also the 4R, the right paratracheal. You are above the main carina, approaching the lymph node from the right side, usually more easier due to the esophagus in the left side. So you go in the left main, right main, sorry. And then when you are in the right main, you look at the carina and now you apply the, uh, the touch to the wall. And you can see very clearly here on the endobronchial lesion, uh, in the endobronchial ultrasound, that there is a large lymph node in front of you. Can you freeze, please? We'll do the measurement now. Station 7 is 10.3 millimeter out of the scope. And then you set up your needle. You go at the carina from the right side. And you see your lymph node now in the endobronchial ultrasound. And then you pass your needle. And now it's very easy to identify the shadow of the needle inside the lymph node. Then you do pulling the stylus halfway and do the capillary action. It's good to be applied in the lymph nodes that's vascular as this and start with sampling it without suction. The reason you know that there is a blood vessel and there is a chance of getting a lot of blood 
with suction and that can make reading the slide for on-site cytological evaluation harder. You see the sheath on your endobronchial uh, view. You set up the depth that you want to go with based on the size of the lymph node that you measured. Then you go down, you identify the lymph node again and you pass your needle and you can see it now inside the lymph node. You do the capillary action, keep the status in, you do the second pass. Now we collect samples for cell block from station 7, the subcarinal lymph node. We're gonna do suction with it for cell block. We set up our needle and our sheath. You identify the sheath on the endobronchial view. Now you identify the carina and you go down, you, you find your lymph node, you pass the needle in, you can have more depth if you need to. Status will be out and we'll use suction for this one. Since the, this lymph node is large enough, we're gonna do a fan, fan technique, which is trying to get multiple samples from different locations of the lymph node. You go back to the proximal part, you change your thumb and you sample in different area. You go back to the proximal part, you thumb down maximum and you sample one more area. And then you go back to the proximal part and then neutral and you sample different area. Like this, you try to get multiple samples from the same lymph node. For our location is right paratracheal lymph node. In the endobronchial view, you start going to the right main stem. Turn laterally to identify your right upper lobe, which you see it here at 12 o'clock. Then you pull back and you thumb down. And now you look at your endoscope and the bronchial ultrasound uh, uh, marks which is mainly the landmark for you would be the azygous which you see now pulsating blood vessels in front of you and you can identify it by adding color pulling back toward the trachea you start seeing the SVC the large blood vessel under here the lymph node above it that you can identify here that's very spindle shaped lymph node as for our location. As you see here the short axis as we measure it here is 4.1 millimeter. We pass the needle. Push the tube scope a little bit. Can you hold the scope Nina? We pull the stylus. I'll give it to you. Hold it there. Suction. You put the suction, you activate it by turning and then sampling the lymph node. As you see here, the main carina, you turn to get in the right main stem, you pass to the bronchus intermedius, and then you thumb down below the right upper lobe, and you can see here a big lymph node. The lymph node is like square shape, so the short axis or the long axis is the same. Starting from the white borders up to the other border. 11 R in this situation is 16.4 millimeters. As you notice here, the lymph node is identifying the middle of the screen, but you know your needle gonna go in an angle of 30 degrees from the right side of the endobronchial view. So your goal is to pull the lesion toward the lower part of the endobronchial ultrasound view toward the left side of the screen and achieve a direct shot with the needle inside it. You see the shadow of the needle in the center of that lymph node now. You do capillary action, which is try to keep the stylus in while you are doing the sample. Nina, can you hold the scope, please? And now you try to get side to side. 
from edge to edge sample. You see the needle going from edge to edge. And then you do some fan, fanning by changing your thumb on the scope from flexing up or down and sampling different areas in the lymph node. You look at the sheet in the endobronchial view, set up the depth of your sample, and then drive in the left, right main stem, looking at the right upper lobe, at the bronchus intermediates, make contact by thumbing down, and then find the lymph node and put it in the second half, at the left side of the screen, at, the, at this location, and sample with the needle inside it. We'll do suction. We pull the stylus out. And we sample edge to edge, as we did before. And then change your angle and sample different areas. Changing the angle can be, as I mentioned before, with uh, changing your thumb flexing on this lymph nodes. But when you change your thumb, you should be at the proximal edge of the lymph node, not at the far end. That will give you a chance to change it. So this is uh, a case of the patient with right upper lobe uh, lung nodule and mediastinal lymph adenopathy. We did staging four passes from all the lymph nodes starting from 11L, 4L, 7, 4R, and 11R. All of them came back lymphocytes. Of course, every sample has two slides and uh, two cell blocks for each uh, station, and we guarantee that we have enough material in the cell block. Uh, the preliminary result shows uh, lymphocytes from all lymph nodes. The upper, right upper lobe is uh, adenocarcinoma. My patient will go for SBRT radiation therapy.